The next set of lectures is brought to you by Tibialis Anterior. It's appropriately named. It's in front of your tibia, anterior to your tibia. So if you look at the, the calf here, and you have your tibia here, the tibialis anterior is on the front of your calf. It does two important things. When it's excited, it generates a moment about your ankle that dorsiflexes the ankle. So it pulls your foot up. That needs to happen during walking so that you don't stub your toe on the ground. Also, during gait, when your foot lands on the ground, the tibialis anterior turns on and slows the lowering of your foot. So your heel contacts, tibialis anterior is on, generating force, and it slows the lowering of your foot. That's why this muscle gets sore after you walk downhill or after you go running downhill because it's on generating force and being stretched. So it's on generating force, your heel contacts, and it's being stretched. And it's that eccentric contraction while it's generating force that it produces a mild muscle injury and a lot of that delayed onset muscle soreness. So tibialis anterior is antagonistic to the gastrocnemius and soleus that we covered last time in that those two muscles plantar flex the ankle and tibialis anterior dorsiflexes the ankle, you can see how important it is when it's not properly activated. So let me show you a little movie of a child here who has cerebral palsy. She has a number of gait abnormalities, but one of them, she can't excite this muscle very well. And if you look at her left foot, it doesn't swing properly. Her toe is dragging on the ground, and you can see that tibialis anterior is not functioning quite well. Let's see the video just again. So watch your left foot. See how it kind of drags on the ground? You can really see this when she turns around too. Watch your left foot, her toes dragging on the ground. So we might try to correct this with an electrical stimulator, or we might uh, use a brace to keep her from tripping and falling. So that's tibialis anterior, and you'll see it show up in future lectures as well.